Lenovo is one of the biggest names in the laptop market and currently they offer two series of gaming laptops, the very popular Legion Gaming Laptops and their budget offering, the IdeaPad Gaming series of gaming laptops. IdeaPad Gaming 3 Gen 7 launched this year as the latest offering from Lenovo in the budget segment. It's a decent laptop and offers a good value for money, but this time around it seems there are some major problems which you should be aware of before buying this laptop as the budget segment is very competitive and there are a lot of great options out there in this price segment. So let's start with the memory. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop comes with a single channel memory which is not the ideal way to go especially when the laptop is using an older DDR4 memory. Single versus dual channel memory does not matter much in the latest DDR5 sticks but there is a significant performance difference between the single and dual channel configurations in case of a DDR4 memory which this laptop uses. Even though your laptop does have a good hardware in terms of the RTX 3050 Ti GPU, it won't be able to make use of that and will underperform due to its single channel DDR4 memory. Thus, if you are planning to buy this laptop, then make sure to update the RAM from single to dual channel configuration to get a performance comparable to other 3050 Ti laptops. Alright, let's talk about the MUX switch. If you're looking for a gaming laptop this year, then I'm sure you must have heard about the MUX switch. Almost all mid-range and flagship gaming laptops offer MUX switch and even many budget laptops in 2022 are coming with MUX support like the Strix G15 and the Tough F15. But the IdeaPad Gaming 3 lacks this feature. For those who are unaware, the MUX switch gives you about 10-20% performance boost and reduced screen latency while gaming and it is almost a must-have feature for the latest gaming laptops. The lack of MUX switch support and the single channel DDR4 memory results in a comparatively weaker performance in IdeaPad Gaming 3 when compared to its competitors in the similar price range. Moving on to the display, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 offers a Full HD IPS panel display with 120Hz refresh rate and with a max brightness of 250 nits. The display comes with 45% NTSC which means that it approximately covers 50-60% of the sRGB color gamut. While most of the competition is offering max brightness above 300 nits, it is definitely on the lower side here with 250 nits max brightness. Also, the colors on this display are not very vivid due to the poor color gamut. The screen appears to be bland and the overall viewing experience is not very good. Also, it is worth noting here that if you go for the slightly expensive i7 models, you can opt for the 165Hz panel which offers a better display at par with the competition. Finally, let's talk about the battery in this laptop. IdeaPad Gaming 3 will be selling the 45 watt hour battery in most countries. 45 watt hour battery is again insufficient and is pretty low compared to the competition like the Nitro 5 and Tough series which are offering batteries of up to 80 watt hours. This battery would barely last for 3 to 4 hours on normal web surfing and video streaming and could go even lower depending upon the usage so you will have to keep the laptop plugged in for the most part if you plan to use it for longer durations. Again, it is worth noting that the Intel versions of this laptop, specifically in the US, come with a 60 watt hour battery, which is a slight improvement, but still it's not good enough. For most other places, including India, it is available with a 45 watt hour battery only, but do check the specs on the official site for your country before buying the laptop. Alright, so now the big question is IdeaPad Gaming 3 worth it? Well, I think it's a good laptop in general and it's quite aggressively priced, but as listed above, there are certain problems in terms of the weak performance and poor display quality which really make it hard to recommend this laptop over so many other great options in this price range, like the Strix G15, Tough F15, Vitro 5, etc. IdeaPad Gaming 3 is priced slightly cheaper than the competition but for that small price difference, you are compromising on a lot of essential features provided by other laptops in this segment. That's all from my side and after all it's your decision. Hope you liked the video, do drop a like down there and consider subscribing to the channel for more things tech. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.